Shalom. All praises. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom and in peace. And I've been to the elect of the nation of Israel. So in 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, and the title is How to Become a Spiritual Israelite. Right? There's a lot of talk among the you know so-called Christian community. What did it, what's the common unity? Community, what's the common unity they have? Basically denying you know, the idea that the Lord has an elect of an elect. Right? The elect is Israel, and the elect of that elect is the elect of the nation of Israel. And they're the ones that salvation was promised to a four time. Right, so you cannot become this is a spoiler alert and anyone that clicked on the video i hate to ruin your life but a spoiler alert if you're not of israel you can't become the you can't become israel <laughs> it's simple as that if you're not israel you can't become israel but if you're an israelite you know you may be a natural israelite you may be a non-spiritual israelite all right so this is a lesson how to become a spiritual israelite and it'll be a quick hit to the point Right, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, it says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Right, so how do you become a spiritual Israelite? Let's get this. Because the only the only spiritual Israelites are the Israelites that believe in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? The only spiritual Israelites are them that believe on Yahweh Shai. Right, they're the true spiritual Israelites. Let's prove this. Right, this is the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 17. In fact, we'll start with it. Right, Matthew 16 and 15, it says, He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? So it goes through, you know, who, who do they say you are? And that proves reincarnation. You know, it's not a video for that, but that proves reincarnation because there's people saying, Well, you're Elijah, you're John the Baptist, you're this guy, you're that guy. You know, to say that he's one of them coming back. You know, so that proves that they believed or they understood reincarnation, right? So Yahweh asked, you know, and they said, Well, these people say you this, these people say it. so he's like, Alright, so who do you say? Right? So he saith, Matthew 16 and 15, he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Hamashiach, that's what it would have been in Hebrew, thou art Hamashiach, the anointed, right? The son of the living power, right? So the son of the living power means he was the first, you know, begotten, the first spirit created. And Yahweh answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, my son of Jonah, for thou, sorry, but blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for thou, excuse me again, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my father which is in heaven. So what does that mean? It was of the spirit that it was revealed. You know, and see what was said after this. This is a significant moment as well. It says, and I, and, I, and I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. You go into the word Petros, and what does it mean? It means rock. Right? Upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So that was, that was proof that Peter was a spiritual Israelite. Right? It was revealed unto him. Right? Through what? Not through flesh and blood, but the heavenly father. Guess what? He's the father of spirits. Right? So this is how you become a spiritual Israelite. Again, it's not going to be a two scripture heavy video. But it's just going to be a quick hit to the point. This is how you become a spiritual Israelite. Right? Matthew 10 and 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So there's division. Right? There's division between those Israelites that know they're Israelites. And that's about it. You know, the, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the scribes. The what are them? They knew they were Israel. They weren't spiritual. No, I can't say that every single one of them wasn't. But them that denied Yahweh Shai, them that couldn't see it, guess what? They were not spiritual Israelites. You know? Or they were they were they were spiritual, but they were into some demon spirits. <laughs> the devil is a spirit. You know, he says, try the spirits, test the spirits. You know, for many false prophets have gone out. See, so maybe they're spiritual, but they're they're into some left-handed spirits. Right? They're into some spirits of idols. Right? So how do you become a spiritual Israelite? You believe on Yahweh Shai, you know, as the scripture had said, right? And then we'll get verse, in fact, you know, we'll go back to Second Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 2, 14 again, it says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, 
that they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. So a spiritual Israelite is judging all things. You know, so a spiritual Israelite, an Israelite that believes on Yahweh Shai, believes in rebuke, re believes in reproof, believes on getting on people if they're going off. You know, that's according to the scriptures, and nothing wrong with that. Guys tend to say that's hate. Well, in the law, hate and rebuke are in opposition. They're in contrast. They're the opposite, right? If you do hate someone, you wouldn't rebuke. You let them carry on in sin. You know, and that's, that's the, the weak, pussified spirit that this world's got. You know, you can't tell anyone. You can't tell anyone anything. You know, everyone is right. <laughs> no one is wrong. Accept everything. Tolerate everything. But if you tolerate something intolerable, right? If you're told, tolerate everything. Well, what about murder? You know, pretty much everyone can agree murder is intolerable, right? Unacceptable. But again, you, you, so you have to have, you know, a metric, a judge. He that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. Who hath known the mind of the Lord that may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach. Right, so we're striving for that, you know, the same mindset, the same beliefs, the same thinking patterns, thought patterns, you know, I wish I had, that's what we're aiming for. That's how you become a spiritual Israelite. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha Kudash. Shalom.